girls. Oh my god. Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekenders YouTube channel. Today we are in Seattle. We are at the Seattle Ferry Terminal near Pier 50. And we are going to take a ferry across Puget Sound over to Bainbridge Island. Should be an exciting time. Some people do see some whales, some other wildlife, so I hope we see some of that. That'd be really cool. Uh, if not, either way, it should be a good time to get out on the water, check out some views of the city skyline here, and just get an overall feel of the area. So if you want to stick around, check it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let's go. Let's go. So there's the cars leaving the ferry that are just coming in from maybe Bainbridge or one of the other islands. And you can see off to the left here, there's the cars getting ready to go on the ferry. Hmm. They're taking their RVs and their kayaks. All right, guys, so we are on the Walla Walla. Is that the right name of the boat? I think so. I think it's the Walla Walla. I think it's how you pronounce that's it. That's a good photo of it. <laughs> I'll put the name of the boat in right here. Um, but yes, we're super excited. You guys know that we love a boat. We love the ferry. We love the water. So we're super excited to see what we can see while we're on the ferry. But what I'm loving is right behind us is this awesome skyline. guys first wildlife sighting we've seen a jellyfish a little white speck right there floating next to all the trash next to all the trash jellyfish yeah. so if all else fails we've seen jellyfish yeah. hopefully we'll see some sea lions i've seen some birds yeah yeah we see birds i'm hoping for some seals or some uh whales that would be awesome all right guys so we just got on the ferry we're on our way over to bainbridge island we're just now leaving the dock uh, I wanted to let you know about the pricing on this. So it costs um, just over nine dollars per person for an adult pass, and that includes round trip. It's round tr if you're coming into the city, it's free. Leaving the city costs you nine dollars. Uh, you can buy your tickets right out front there. Uh, pretty simple, straightforward. Bought from the ticket booth. You can also use your Orca card if you happen to have that available. Uh, we did have our Orca cards, but I didn't see anywhere where we could add money to our Orca card. We did not have enough money left on our fare uh, coming from the airport in order to cover the, the cost. We really had $7 on our car, so that wouldn't have not have gotten us on the ship. Um, so just pro tip on that. But other than that, here we go. Taking off. Got some pretty neat buildings. Uh, I really like that one there. The glass sculpture one is cool. And the, um, the black one over here has got like a, a round shape to it. It's interesting as well. And then of course, the dome on it. On that one there in the center, see if we can zoom in. That's my favorite building over there. It's pretty neat. Which one's your favorite? Space Needle. Oh, the Space Needle, yeah. Who can forget that? So you really get some great views of the city here. Uh, all the piers here are also pretty neat. We did have lunch over there. A lot of cool looking restaurants and uh, shops and such. And a little touristy area. Look at the Ferris wheel, we'll come back and check that out at a different time. You have the uh, cruise ships dock out here, so you could take a cruise. Some of them, are like that one over there in the distance, is actually pretty large.
one of your French girls. No, oh my God. <laughs> across the sound here and there are some gorgeous homes maybe we'll, we'll be uh bi-coastal what do you think i, I don't know what <laughs> Pretty neat. What a cool place to live. Could you imagine living in the Grand on the Peninsula here and hearing those waves crash, you know, against those rocks every every day? It'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Well, like you said, there's no jet skis out here. I know. So you guys Lewis me this observation. He's like, not bad. Water's a little cold, but there's no jet skis. No, <laughs> at all. Uh, I, I know people do jet ski out here, like on the Pacific side, mm -hmm. but I think even like in the summertime they're wearing wetsuits and stuff. Yeah, yeah, because water gets cold like, for sure. Down Southern California. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Alright, well we have to hop off the ferry and then hop back on and you're so back with it. Yeah. Um so we have to hop off the ferry, the hop back on, and then we'll get some shots going the other way, right? Yeah. Alright, cool. Hey bro. We're your real friends. off the boat so we can get right back on. That's it? Yeah. Well, okay. We're on Bainbridge Island. Yeah. So we're going to step foot on Bainbridge yeah. and we're going to... Yeah. Yeah, a lot of cars. Wow. Was it like a, a double-decker thing? A double-decker car thing? Yeah, wow. you see they're going up the side. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Is it triple-decker? Because those are like they're coming from the bottom. I think so. Maybe. I don't know. I said we run a car and find out. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, we're counting it. Uh, we walked down the bridge, we walked in the parking lot. Technically we're counting it as being here on Bay Bridge Island. So, there you go. Alright guys, so here's your pro tips for taking the ferry from Seattle to Bainbridge. I would say number one is it is a great affordable way to see the city skylines from the water. Beautiful views, you can't beat it. $9.50 per person round trip. Uh, definitely a lot cheaper than any of the uh, sightseeing cruises that they have right here. And I think a little bit more authentic. So do Seattle like a local and take the ferry. I'd say number two is the ferry does come pretty often, uh, especially just to Bainbridge Island. It's about every 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the time of day and what day of the week. Uh, so you really shouldn't have to worry too much about catching a ferry uh, one way or the other. And if you want to spend a little bit of time on the island, there'll be another one. It, it basically, they run almost until 1 a.m., so plenty of time to catch it. And number three, I would say, when you get over to Bainbridge Island, even if you are just going to take the ferry all the way back, uh, you do have to disembark over there and get back in line uh, to get back on the other side. They do make sure that the entire boat is clear uh, before they uh, before they start loading the new passengers on. So just keep that in mind that you do have to get off to get back on. So. That's gonna do it for us today here in Seattle, on the water, taking the Seattle Ferry to Bainbridge. And we'll see you next weekend. All right guys, well, I'm a little bummed. We didn't see any, uh, no whales today. No dolphins, uh, there's, no, there's no dolphins here. We didn't see any whales today, we didn't see any seals, but maybe we'll see some tomorrow. It's a lot of Seahawks. A lot of Seahawks. <laughs> All of the Seahawks. <laughs> and don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Do all the things. Catch you next time. Okay. <laughs>